So my name is Agnette Kirkeby. I'm an associate professor at the Danish Stem Cell Center at University of Copenhagen. We work with stem cells uh, for understanding brain development and for treatment of brain diseases. So today, uh, stem cells have been approved as a treatment uh, for bone marrow transplant. So bone marrow transplants are used in cases typically uh, of leukemia, uh, when uh, new blood stem cells are needed from uh, a donor. Stem cells have also, have also been approved for skin transplants. So that would mean that you take skin cells from the patient's own skin and you grow them in the lab, and then you can uh, cover other areas of the body, for instance, in the case of skin burns. Um, another proven stem cell therapy is for eye. So uh, there is a stem cell therapy for corneal replacement in the case of, for instance, uh, chemical burns uh, to the eye. So these are the, the treatments that we have available and approved today. Then there's lots of other treatments that are under clinical trials. So I work uh, with uh, regenerative therapy for the brain. And uh, in the brain, it, uh, there are lots of diseases which have been uh, uh, explored for stem cell therapies. Many of them are very uh, challenging. So to find a disease which is amenable to stem cell therapy, it has to be a disease in which we know which particular cell type we need to replace, but also that it affects a rather confined area uh, of the brain so we can actually go in and replace those specific cells. So examples of, uh, of diseases which are uh, currently in clinical trial for stem cell therapy are uh, retinal disease, so macular degeneration. There are several trials ongoing, uh, both in Europe, US, and Asia. Uh, another disease is Parkinson's disease uh, for replacing the dopaminergic neurons uh, in the substantia nigra. So these are the most, currently the most uh, prominent, promising diseases for stem cell therapy uh, in the neuro neurological field. Right, so we work on developing a stem cell product for treatment of Parkinson's disease. This is a product derived from pluripotent cells where we differentiate the cells into dopaminergic neural progenitor cells, which are then to be transplanted into the striatum uh, of the patient. Now we've tested this during many years in animal models. Uh, we see promising results here and we're currently um, in the course of producing the cells which can go uh, into clinical trials. So uh, we hope within uh, two years that we can initiate a clinical trial in Parkinson's disease in Europe. <laughs>